Hi ClossTube, it's Rebecca here, Stitching Becca. Welcome to my channel. Today is the 3rd of January and I'm here for my a bit late December update. Uh, I hope everyone had had a, have had a wonderful holiday. Um, we have. Uh, I have managed to get some stitching in, uh, but this will be short and sweet. <laughs> Um, okay, so I work on uh, Christmas stories by Dimension School Petite, and this is what it looked like before. And this is what it looked like now. So as you can see, I have worked on the background. So I actually finished the background. Um, here is the Santa's uh, face and the share. So I'm really enjoying working on this one. Uh, I had some troubles uh, while I worked on the background. It called for five strands and some blended. Uh, threads and <clears throat> um, usually the eight cross stitches are um, worked with uh, two strands of floss uh, and then I just if it's not blended I just take one floss and double it and start with a loop start um, when it calls for five strands uh, I just took the full length and started working and halfway through um, it broke off it just tore off um, so I was afraid uh, that happens twice it hadn't happened to me before so um, I don't know it's an old kit uh, I don't know if the threads get more fragile uh, but um, this color here are also in this and it was I was so scared that I wouldn't have enough threads but I managed um, I just have a little bit of that color left so I hope it's not um, in here <laughs> then I will have a problem but what I did uh, was that I um, put together the five strands that I needed and I cut them, cut them in half. Um, so I just worked with half the length uh, at a time. Um, so that is what I'm going to do uh, from now on uh, in Dimensions Kits. Um, and there it is. Christmas toys. Okay, so I also worked on um, my Brooks books, Advent Animals, and I finished Peter Puma beer. Uh, this is what it looked like before, and now he looks like this. He's so cute. I just love this. Um, I love the way, I've said it before, but I love the way she puts together the colors and her designs. They turn out so cute. Um, and that's actually everything that I've stitched on in December. Um, I have a little bit of wool uh, and I received some uh, stitchy kindness uh, this month. <clears throat> Linda from Linda's 144 Happies sent me uh, this beautiful dimensions kits along with this card. Um, and I absolutely love it. It's so beautiful. 
she said that she was thinking of me when with these patterns and the sewing machine and everything. Um, and if you have watched my channel for a while, you know that I I like to be I like to sew. What do you call it? So I sew these project bags. Um, and I really enjoy it um, and I love this design it's called buttons and beers and it's a gold collection uh, dimensions kit and it's absolutely stunning um, so thank you Linda I love it um, I I think I showed you in a previous video that I have ordered these buttons because I think when I finish this uh, somewhere in the future or some time, time I think this would be great to have like in a bow um, and to fasten this in the middle. Uh, so I ordered some more. I also picked out some mixed motifs. Um, I think that they look wonderful. And they can travel alone. So I ordered this Prairie School shirt, January. And then I have a new start. When I was at Soul Stitch in September, uh, I sat right across Sarah, uh, the person who arranged it, who has Broderie uh, Hoppen. Uh, and and uh, she was putting together a Celtic Christmas and she said that she was going to start it um, later on in the year and I have been thinking of starting this uh, design for a long time so we decided that we should start it together after the New Year's uh, so I have the fabric and threads and everything and I also ordered the beads when I ordered the buttons from Casa Semina. So I'm really looking forward to get that starting and I don't have it with me, I forgot it. I have recorded this video yesterday but it was awful <laughs> so I, I just record it today again but I forgot it um, but I will be stitching uh, Kilde Christmas on a raw fabric um, I will show you in my January update I think she will look marvelous she's so gorgeous uh, okay so that was actually everything that I had for you uh, in December we had uh, my hubby got sick uh, over Christmas so we couldn't travel to my family to celebrate Christmas uh, but you know when it, the plans don't work out you just rethink and we had a wonderful Christmas by ourselves um, and uh, uh, later on me and my uh, kids traveled to my sister and stayed for two nights and then we traveled up uh, to my parents and stayed two nights there uh, before we traveled home again and we celebrated the new new years with my hubby's uh, family so it's been wonderful and I have this week off as well um, so a whole week, uh, me and the kids, uh, and it feels 
wonderful just you know after we have been traveling uh, I think it's nice to just be home and relax and just be uh, okay so that that was everything for me uh, I hope everyone had a great holidays uh, thank you for watching subscribing liking commenting um, uh, oh, I will see you soon in a whip parade uh, I think that I will just pull everything out and make it now after I recorded this one um, take care everyone and I see you soon bye